everybody. Welcome to another review. This is You Only Live Once, Twice, 1967. James Connery. I'm sorry, John Connery and this is James Bond. <laughs> and then you have a cover uh, with him in the middle of everybody, which is a bunch of women. And for whatever reason, she has a gun, so I'm not sure why she needs that when she's taking a shower. Uh, I'm not sure why they need their bathing suits if they're literally taking a shower. I mean, I don't know what's going on in this poster. I don't know what's going on up here either. We have, uh, looks like they're in some kind of a large boat or there's a lot going on in this poster. Anyways, the phrase of sex object has never been more pronounced in a James Bond film than you only live twice. It's so amazing to watch the famed character to seduce one woman after another with zero feeling or care. It is such a major poon hound. He is such a major poon hound. I mean, look at the poster on the right. There are eight men surrounding James Bond. Meanwhile, You Only Live Twice is a dull film with nothing to offer save for the revealed identity of number one, the underworld boss of the Spectre organization. But it's only Donald Pleasance. Whoopie do not. The formula is exactly the same as the four previous films. James listens to the assignment, travels to another country, observes, gets into some small fights, finds the answer, discovers the hideout, gets trapped, escapes via Deus Ex Machina, gets into a major fight with the bodyguard slash number two man, has an easy time killing the major boss and saves the world with three seconds left while having slept with so many beautiful women as possible. It gets really boring. Even sillier is when Sean Connery pulls off the Marlon Brando trick by impersonating as Japanese. What do you expect me to believe? He is way too big and tall to pass for a Japanese. Another fatuous moment is when James and his Japanese female sidekick take a walk to the top of the volcano without food or drink. And then she walks back to back to seek help and also swims across some body of water with no food or water whatsoever. Do you expect me to believe it? Notice how she is made to wear the two-piece white bikini and they are um, clean and bright the entire time. The inactive and completely hollowed out volcano at the end of the film starts to pour out lava. Let me repeat that. The inactive and completely hollowed out volcano starts to pour out lava. Is the movie meant to be an insult to my intelligence? Meanwhile, the white cat looks abused during the film and you could already see his reaction when one of the explosions. He didn't really enjoy that one at all. During the movie, I had speech read many of the actors and the lines didn't match what they were saying so obviously there is a huge dosage usage of dubbing it is easy to see how lifeless Sean Connery is in the movie anyway the best part of the film is when the number one says to his penchman this organization does not tolerate failure and then boom he is gone just like that I actually like the opening credits of the film it's very cool as always. All in all, you can see why you only live twice is a great fodder for Mike Myers for the Austin Powers series. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please tune in for another review next time. Bye bye.